Hi guys, welcome to the reach tutorial. Today we're just going to kind of focus on this more options button. So right away when you click here, you'll see that now we've got some more functionalities that have popped down. Starting with the top, we'll do the import files. This is where you guys can upload PDFs, PowerPoints, or Word docs. Now one thing to keep in mind though, is that if you upload a PDF and you notice a spelling error or the time changed, you wouldn't be able to make that text change with our system. Our system takes your PDF as a static JPEG. So you would have to go back into the PDF, you'd have to make that change or that edit, resave it, and then re-upload it. Kind of the same concept with the PowerPoints. Um, in theory, let's just say you had three slides and they were all completely different. You know, maybe there's some animation to them. When you upload the PowerPoint through our system, our system takes them as three individual JPEGs. There wouldn't be any animation tool. So just so you guys kind of understand how those, those certain file types work. Now down below would be the kind of the public publication part. Um, this is where you guys can choose when you want to publish the content. And then of course the screens down here would be where do you want to publish it. Now kind of the next one down from the here is the change order. So maybe you want this to run a certain way. You know, maybe you want the welcome first, and then maybe you want a Twitter post, and then your summer, and so on. Um, you're just basically just click and drag around. Um, anything that's expired is gonna be grayed out like this. So once you kind of save the order, you'll basically get a notification letting you know, letting you know that it's been saved. Once you hit X, it will automatically change the loop as you can see. So going down to the more option here, now really the last part here is the add photos in photo categories. They kind of tie hand in hand. So in the create new button right here, we have a button that says stock photos. Now we provide stock photos for you guys and we have a series of categories for you guys to choose. Maybe you want your own section. Maybe there's photos or, or a category there that you know we don't provide for you that you want you would be able to create it through here and then add those photos in. So kind of like a, a scenario would be like a university. Um, sometimes universities, they really want to stick to their branding, but not every department has a designer. And depending on how the university is set up, maybe their marketing people don't do all the assets for the departments. So what they'll do is they'll create a category called backgrounds. And they'll basically have these just generic backgrounds that fit that particular university color feel. Um, then anyone who kind of logs in can basically retrieve that. So just to kind of walk you through how this works. Um, so we'll just create a new category and I'll kind of go back to that university example. So I'll label this backgrounds and I'll hit okay. So now I've created the category. Now I just need to upload the assets into there. So I'm gonna X out of here. I'm going to go to more options and then I'm going to add photos. So, you know, I'd have a series of maybe backgrounds or, or logos, pictures, whatever it might be. So I'll go ahead and choose my background and I'll hit open. Now I need to choose the category, of course, which we just created with backgrounds and I'll upload that file. Once you get this kind of notification letting you know, it's uploaded. Now anyone can retrieve it. And so the part I was kind of talking about is that when they go to create new here, and then they'll click on the add stock images. The left side is, this is our categories. This is the list that we provide for you guys. But down here is the saved photos. So if you click on that, here's the image that I just uploaded, but then here's the category we created. So by me selecting this, now I can use this for whatever I need to. Um, then you can put pictures on top and in text or whatever you need to to create that announcement. So that's kind of what that those two sections mean. Now that's kind of it for the tutorial. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to call or email us. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.